And yeah, welcome back. This is part 27 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And we have just, we had just defeated the pain, and now we're just exploring, uh, we're just exploring where the boss fight was. So, alright, there's a, let's check out the map. Alright. So, the way that I'm facing is the way we want to head. So, whichever way snakes look. Alright, so we came from that way. We want to go that way. So, um, yeah, I guess there really isn't anything here we need. And swimming probably wasn't the fastest way, but oh well. Swimming into. Alright, you know what? Let's dive. Anything down here? No. Just some fishes. Some fishies. And once we get up here on land, I'm gonna go back into my start screen and let's get rid of some of these bullet bees. Oh, we only have one. So dig it out. That takes a lot of that red away. And um, let's disinfect it which didn't do anything. And yeah, like I mentioned in a previous video, it's not really all that important to completely heal yourself because over time, the wounds take care of themselves anyway. So if I would have just dug it out, it would have, you know, it would have been fine and, you know, before any serious things would have happened. And this looks like it might be that one place that I was. No, I guess not. Alright, I came from up there, and there's no tunnel to crawl through, so we're good. What was that little outcrop right there? What is that? There no tunnels? Nope. Alright, daylight. And it looks like another cutscene. That's, yeah, that's some fruit right there. This snake's coming after me. Uh, shit. I put away my knife. Alright, no problem. Uh, let me just shoot it with this. And yeah, it gives you digestive medicine too. Oh, alright, and all my food, my food storage is completely full. So, I'm going to have to start eating and disposing of stuff. And what's this? Can we get up there? What the hell was that? Alright, I don't know what just happened. It made some sort of sound like, uh... I don't know what that was. Lots of snakes. And two paths. This one doesn't look like it heads anywhere, so... Oh, wow. Oh, alright. I know what that was. There's claymores on the ground right here. <coughs> so, apparently... Alright. Uh, I guess something like a snake or an animal set off a claymore and killed a whole bunch of vampire bats that were flying around in this area. So that's what that sound was. But let's move on. Hold on. Before we do, one more quick look. Alright. Let's get the hell out of these caves.
Russian glow caps. And you know what? I don't have room to carry them, so let's check out our food. Um, and yeah, might as well just eat one of these. These were uh, these were some of the first things that I captured hey, as far as works. this list goes. And so yeah, that's you want to get rid of the oldest items before they spoil naturally. And yeah, more glow caps. More glow caps. All right, screw them. We're good enough. And anything in that corner? No. All right. Here we go. Back into the jungle. So, in that earlier cutscene that didn't really show anything, you have these guys flying by, and they're on some sort of futuristic uh, flying thing from the past. So, oh crap. Alright, I got him that second time. Explosions. We're being attacked. Great. Going into high alert. And yeah. There's guys flying all over the place. Um, I don't think we can get up on any of these ledges. Oh, that one looks kind of accessible, but I don't even think we can get up there. Triangle, nope. And you can see that reflection up there. It looks like it's the sun. But actually, it's just the searchlight on another one of those... Um, flying deals. So I'm going to try to get, basically get as close as I can without, um, without him being able to see me. And as soon as I take him out, it should get rid of that caution. So let's see if I can take a knee right here and maybe spot him. Nope. Should be a little bit closer. That was weird. And how about here? Nope. Still not, still not ready. Right here? Alright, yeah, we got a clear shot on his head. And a nice little explosion. That didn't kill any fish. Alright, well, uh, we're about running out of time. So, let's take a quick look, um, and yeah, I guess right now I will, oh, hey, there's an item right here, some chat grenades, cool, alright, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna save it right here, I might be back to do a couple more videos tonight, um, kinda having fun getting into it, but since we have some time, let's save in the game, Snake. grab a quick save, and, um, yeah, hopefully there will be something interesting after it. This is usually, when I'm playing it, the only times I get codec calls, other than ones that are actually in the story, is when, um, alright, yeah, usually I only get codec calls when I save. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be something somewhat interesting. And I don't really know how we're doing time-wise. I don't know how all this is going to edit out. So I might have to delete this actual save part and just leave in this. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon. And they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. 
Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fish men aren't the only things that will attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any three girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. All right, well, uh, that'll probably do for today. Uh, I might come back and put up some more videos, but I want to get these ones up first of all. So make sure you come back and check out part 28 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. See ya!